Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse my voice. I am recovering from a little bit of cold and I have like the throat tickles. And so I have a cough drop in. So if you hear me smacking on something, I apologize. I know that that's kind of annoying. But hello, Mindy. Hello, Rhoda and Rachel, Jeanette and Erica, Deb in Texas. Let's see, Amy. Congratulations, Amy, on your new job. Julia, Jean, Natalie, and Kelsey. Everybody is popping in. Let's see, Lori. Hello, Miss Lori. Hello, everyone. So good to see everyone on a different night. I know that that is so confusing. And um, we, let's see, hey, Kathy and Sharon. We, um, Wednesday, last Wednesday night with the release live, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was such a huge success on Wednesday night that we thought, hmm, I wonder if a different night would be better. And we have, we've had in the past, um, people request different nights because different crafters, you know, have live streams on different nights and people want to watch all their, their favorite people. And so we thought, okay, Wednesday night was so huge. We had 550 in the chat live on Wednesday night. And so we thought, Ooh, I think you guys were right that a different night might be better. And so we're going to try that. We're going to try this out. And so I'm um, sorry about my cough drop and I'm a little bit hoarse. Um, I did an, another live earlier today for an event and I had to suck on cough drops because I was coughing the whole time. So um, sorry about that. I apologize. Let's see, Rebecca and Harriet. Hello, Olivia. And then I saw some friends in Barbados. I love Barbados. That is one place that I have visited. Uh, see, I see all of our Canadian friends and Ontario, California. I know exactly where that is. I have family that lives down there in Temecula. Let's see here. Maria in Connecticut. Dawn, hello. Julia, thank you, Miss Julia. You're so sweet. Um, Harriet's first live. Welcome, welcome. Are you still doing Tuesdays and Thursdays? No, Miss Lori, we're going to do Mondays and Wednesdays now. So just twice a week, we're just shifting it. Um, that way more people can join us. Um, we've got 46 people in now. That's good. Misty in Georgia. Carla. Missy is in Nashville. It's a Monday night. Woo -woo. Always rejoicing. Yay. Bonnie. Hello. Good evening. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start out. So I'm going to do a couple of things this evening for a card. A couple of things that I don't normally do. One, I'm going to make a five by seven card. I had several people in one of the videos that I did for the release that said, thank you so much for doing a five by seven card. Nobody ever does those. And that is the size that I primor primarily work in. And so I'm going to do a five by seven card. And I'm also going to do a lot of layers, but do a lot of matted layers, which I normally don't do that either. I'm usually like the easy peasy girl, but I've got them all cut and they're all ready to go. Let's see. Tom's Farms. Yes, I love Tom's Farms. I love that. Um, so Olivia is asking, have we been to Tom's Farms? Tom's Farms in California is one of those places that it has a farmer's market. And then there's like stuff for kids around. But then it also has like this really cool antique store and things like that. That is like right up my alley. Love all that. So yes, we every time we go visit family, we go to Tom's Farms and have all the snacks and food and all the things. Uh, I like I2 shirt. I that is my normal. A2 cards are my norm. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. That's what I've been doing lately. Five by seven. Yeah, and you can like put more pretty things on there, right? If we do five by seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go. What did I do with my stencils? I'm gonna go desk view here. 
And I am going to do a stenciled background. Let me pull out my stencils here. They got moved. And this time, instead of doing the folk art stencils, we're going to use the Daisy Lattice. And so I'm going to create a background. We're going to put together our 5 by 7 card. And I'm going to ink blend onto yellow paper. Because what is better than Daisy's? white little white daisies on yellow paper and so that's how i'm going to start i'm going to start out with the layer that has the little flowers on it and if i hold all these up here and make sure that they're all going the right direction thank goodness for the etched wording in there you can see that design in the background can i see it there hold on let me hold it up see the pretty design okay so we're going to have white daisies those big white daisies we're gonna have i think i'm gonna do these little flowers in pink and then we're gonna do big white daisies i'm gonna start out with the big white daisies because i'm gonna trap this white pigment ink so this is our be creative brilliant white it's a pigment ink but as some of you or all of you probably know pigment ink it stays wet longer and so i'm gonna trap this white ink in um, with uh, white embossing powder. So one, the white embossing powder is gonna make the white more vibrant. If you wanted to use like an embossing powder on this, you could totally do that. The reason why I'm not using embossing powder, if, the reason why I'm not using embossing ink like this is because embossing ink on my stencils is so sticky that it makes me a little bit crazy. And so I'm gonna do this in the white ink and then trap it with uh, embossing powder. And then we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna cover all my white daisies and this background is gonna be so happy that I can't stand it. Okay, so we've got all of those white daisies inked on there. I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna peel this layer up before doing any of the pink. All right, see our pretty white daisies? How fun is that? Okay, so now I'm gonna trap the ink. So I'm gonna pick this up and I've just got a scrap piece of cardstock here and I am gonna use white embossing powder as I mentioned. Okay, you can use clear embossing powder, but when I was testing this and playing around with what it was going to look like, it didn't come out as bright as I would have liked it to because that white pigment ink, while it is nice and bright when it goes on, when it dries down a little bit, it uh, lightens up and I want these daisies to be nice and bright and white and so hence we're getting double coverage here with white ink and white embossing powder okay I'm going to heat set this and then we're going to move on <clears throat> We're going to make this nice and smooth. Just like that. Keep moving around my little daisies here. One more. I don't want to forget that little guy. Okay, now we have our bright white daisies and they're all trapped 
there so they're not going to fade and then all I have to do I'm going to wave this around and let that really set up all I have to do is replace the stencil back over the top and let's make sure we get it in the right place here that wouldn't be so so good there we go and get it all lined back up right in the corner just like so and now I'm going to hold it down and then this time for the flowers the little tiny clusters I'm going to use saltwater taffy so we're going to bring in a little bit of pink and I'm going to use one of my smaller brushes and go right over, over. And notice I'm not doing, stay right there. I'm not doing any of my fancy like blending and fading or anything like that tonight. We're just adding all the pretty color. But I think, you know, normally when I stencil, and I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but you think of when you stencil of stenciling on white paper. A lot of times I don't think of stenciling on and starting on colored cardstock. And so I think it's kind of fun to kind of mix it up a little bit. Okay, now look at all of our bright little bouquets that we have going here. All right, so we're done with that layer. And you know what? I'm going to heat it up just for a second. Okay. And that was just to um, set that oxide ink so I don't make a mess. Okay, I'm going to line everything up here for the centers and I'm going to do green centers. So we're going to start pulling in green and this is the brush that I use for Rustic Wilderness. And I'm just going to work it down in those little centers. the signs, get the little pink flowers, back and forth. And the fun thing about this and the card that I'm doing is I can do one card and I'm going to do one card, but I'm going to have enough left of this ink blended background after I trim it down that I can do have a second card. Because I'm going to make a little, it's going to kind of look like a patterned paper layer on our background. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's see what we've got now. Look how dang cute and springy that is. Okay. Now we have our really pretty leafy layer. This is a lot of leaves back there. And I'm going to be really careful here and I'm going to make sure and I'm going to kind of go around before we start inking here and make sure that everything is going to land and that's looking pretty darn good. Everything's going to land where I want it to land. Back and forth. Back and forth. Let's move the fingers around. Okay, let's get up here in the corner. What do you guys think that this is going to look like? Do you think it's going to be cute and springy? Or are we going to have a mess? You guys are here for my trial tonight. I have not inked this up. The only thing that I did 
was try to figure out how I could get the cutest little white daisies back there on yellow paper. So I did figure that much out. And I'm going to go make sure we've got good coverage all the way around. Here's some right here. Need to hit. There we go. Right there. Okay. Here's here we go. All right. What do you guys think? That is all three layers. And let me kind of hold it up here so we can look at it. Look how cute that is on yellow paper. And do you see how those white daisies, they stayed really nice and opaque. And we have our little pink flowers. I think it would be fun if I had done, I probably should have thought about that. Like the little centers of the flowers, those would have been really cute in like a robin's egg blue or a purple even or something like that. But that's okay. I think it's cute. Okay. So let's move that aside and let's start moving on here. <clears throat> All right. Now for my card, I am going to trim this little guy down. Okay. So here is my card layers that I have set up here. So we've got some classic black and white gingham paper from one of our gingham paper pads. Let me find it. It is from the Gingham Happy Hearts. See all these great basics right down here? Well, they're all great, but this is the black and white gingham, okay? And then we have the same yellow cardstock, but instead of using a pattern paper, I used the, the embossing folder. So that is the... Daisy Field, I believe is what it's called. Lisa can tell me in the chat. Embossing folder. So it's like having a pattern paper that's going to kind of blend and go together, but not adding another pattern into the mix, if that makes sense, or more colors. Okay. So let's go ahead. I've got all my layers. Let's go ahead and cut this little guy down. So I'm going to cut him to five and a half by three and a half. And like I mentioned before, I kind of want to get this to where I can get two cards out of it. So I'm going to trim down the sides. Let's see here. Love it. Embossing folders are one of my favorite tools. You know, I um, hadn't used a lot of embossing folders until Honeybee started making ours until we started them. And now I'm like, where have embossing folders been all my life? Because what an easy way to add, um, you know, a great pattern or texture, especially that um, dogwood bloom embossing folder. Holy cow, that thing is gorgeous. Okay, five and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to think this out. So here we've got, there's three and a half right there. And I'm going to see where that hits. Five and a half, two, three and a half is right there. I think that's going to hit really well in the pattern because I'm going to still have all this over here left over. Okay, so I'm going to slice off that and I'm going to set this pattern aside and I'm going to save that for another card. And then I want it cut down to five and a half. So let me see here. And it's already at five and a half. Perfect. <clears throat> and then I'm going to mat this on the same black as everything else is going to be on. So it kind of pops and everything goes together. So I'm going to get my glue going here. Let's see. Hello, everyone. I didn't know that they were going, ouch. Sorry about that. I just poked myself with my 
die pick. Okay, so pro tip, don't visit with your friends online and use a die pick at the same time. Okay, goodness gracious. Okay, yes, so new, who was that? Joy Nelson. I didn't know there was going to be a live tonight. We're, we have changed the lives to Monday and Wednesday. And so I put out our reminders um, everywhere on social media. And then I listed the video. I think I did it Sunday on YouTube. That way everybody... See, crafty fail. Have you all ever done that? I'm going to keep going. We're going to make it work. DNA on my card. Okay. We're going to hide it so nobody sees it. And you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Because I think this will be... Hello. Have y'all ever done that? Have you ever poked yourself like with the scissors or the end of a die, snipped your dies apart and poked yourself like that? And now it's on my beautiful daisy pattern. I'm going to look in the chat and make sure I'm not alone. Cover it with a jewel. Yes, that's why they make gems. Thank you. Let's see. Mine usually has dog fur. See? You guys are my people. This is why we're, we're together all the time. This is why we have to be friends. And I was trying to read Joy's statement and use my die pick at the same time. And this is why we can't have nice things. Right? And so I'm just going to keep on working here. Just like that and spread that around. I think it's time for a new glue. And then I'm just doing my layers here. Every card has to have a little DNA on it, right? Like somebody mentioned their dog fur or um, a little blood. Let's not, let's not say that too loud. And I'm making a big old mess. But we're going to cover it up. Okay. And then we've got this layer like that and this layer. Let me do this one first. I'm going to try not to bleed all over that one. You know, I used to keep band-aids in my craft room because, I mean, let's face it, you get a paper cut or I don't know how many times I have been like trimming out my new dies or clipping apart the new dies, you know, that had the little metal pieces. Thank goodness honeybee dies are all cut apart now for us but um you know and poked them up underneath my fingernail that hurts that hurts so bad and so um I keep band-aids in here so I gotta get on back on my story here but um let's get on the screen but my son who's 10 stole all my band-aids all my crafty band-aids. And so now I have to go hunt for all the band-aids. And so he stopped, he took them all. Do and, and, and you know, the reason I know it's him is because he just throws all the band-aid wrappers anywhere on the floor, on my desk. And that's how we know his name is Sam. That's how we know Sam has been here is because there's a mess left behind. Let's see. Really appreciate companies that separate the dye. I know. Let's see. I always keep band-aids. Yes. Blood. Oh, when you're on blood thinners. Bless. Let's see. I love the pre-cut dyes. They, yes. Oh my gosh. Dog fur. It's worse. Uh, more than one dog. Yes. I have three dogs. So we have our fair share, share. I'm going to move it up here. I have our fair share of dog fur. I could knit a sweater with our, we have an Australian shepherd. 
and she's one of those breeds that have the undercoat and uh, my daughter thank goodness I'm just adding all of our layers here while we have a little Monday night crafty chat I hope that's okay with you guys but um she my daughter has gotten to where um we got this really nice um like high velocity hair dryer this is a little tip for you guys since we're talking about pets high velocity hair dryer from amazon and look how cute this is let me make sure that this is all lined up but that thing is so awesome okay let me see okay look Look with the black and white. What do you guys think? Am I crazy? Should I've done like green and white back there or a different color? Or do, are we liking the basic? But we got a high velocity hair dryer, and now we blow the, um, I don't want to do that yet. We blow the Australian Shepherd's hair out and it blows out all of the undercoat. And um, it's awesome. But it, it, it's a mess. Let's see here. Yes, it's shocking when it happens. Black. Okay, love everybody's loving the black. Good. Okay, so for the sentiment, I love these sentiments. This is the new, oh, let me find the name. Daisy Layers Bouquet. Okay, but this is the one, I love these sentiments because they're a little bit more feminine maybe if, that, if that's a good descriptor but I like this really cute uh, scripty font and then this um, more plain text but I think I'm gonna put um, but so many of these would be great with daisies you make my day brighter that one's cute but I think I'm gonna do this enjoy your special day because I can give it as a birthday card um, so I'm gonna pull that one out. I think I've quit bleeding gracious make sure I didn't get blood on that one okay and I'm gonna stick this down and put it here in my misty and I'm gonna arrange this enjoy your special day down in here and this was cut with one of our stitched circle dies and I'm going to hold this up just to make sure that it's not on those uh, stitched lines going around the edges before I stamp. Let's see. Bernie's Mountain Dogs. Yes, you guys are on the same. Rachel's on the same track as me here. I have two Aussies. Yes. Besides the Aussie crazy, you have to deal with their hair too. Okay. Enjoy your special day. We're going to do this in nice crisp black ink because it's going to go really pretty with our um, layers that we have going on. So those layers that I matted with the black mat underneath, I never, ever, ever do that. But I wanted something that was going to make um, like the patterns, like separate all the patterns and make them kind of stand out on the background. So does that make sense? Like had I just put like this on that, on the gingham and then that on top, it all just kind of would have, you know, meshed together. Whereas I want them all to kind of stand out and be bold. This is, I don't ever do this because those of my friends here, that um, come and visit me often on the live streams know that I'm a pretty like get it done, get it quick. I'm the easy, do it the easy way. And all those layers are not, it's time consuming to do cut all those mats. That this it leads me back to my, like my scrapbooking day, right? When we did all the little mats and everything on our photos and all of our little papers and little cuts and things. I don't often do this on my cards, but I thought we needed to do it for tonight to make these 
awesome layers kind of stand out. Let me make sure I'm not making a mess right there. And I'm going to kind of slide this around while it's while it's still wet. Okay. Let's see here. The layers look good. I'm the same way about finishing quick. I don't always like to take that. I know. I don't either. And you know, I'm not like a like I do simple. Um, I'm going to add some stuff right up here. I do simple measurements. So there's no, none of the like two and an eighth or two and a sixteenth or any of that kind of stuff with my cuts. If I can't do cut it at like a half or a quarter, it's not it's not happening here. I like it easy. Peasy. Okay, now these little die cuts, let me show you. I'm going to bring them out. These are little daisies, and they're from an old die set. Old, like several years old. But it's called the Spring Bouquet Builder. So has any of y'all ever seen this? And see, this is so old. This is from several years ago where we were still clipping apart all of our little dies. But we got like these cute little daisies. Like I wanted some simple little daisies that I can kind of pop up here as an extra little dimensional element. And let me see if I can find my stylus. And I may not be able to find it. But if not, we're going to make it work. Um, pen. Okay, so I'm going to take a large daisy and take a, a round ink pen or cap or something round. And I'm just going to, usually I would use my fancy stylist, but it has disappeared. And I'm just going to give these a little bit of shape. I want a big one and two small ones. <clears throat> there we go and one more I'm just turning my little ink pen and turning all those little petals up like that okay so let's pull this back out here okay now do you see how all of it's gonna like tie together that's what they look like when you cut them out of white paper and then it's got the little leaves right all right so let's start gluing down our little die cuts from the spring bouquet builder and that little bouquet builder has a watering can and a basket and this is these uh, little dies are way back before our lovely layers came out they're pre lovely layers even so they're from a while back, but we still do carry them. There's a spring one. There's a fall that's really cute that has a pumpkin that you can kind of um, put your little florals and all your little things like down in the top of the pumpkin. So that's kind of fun. Okay, now we're going to add our little white daisies and they're going to be so dang cute. So I'm going to add one right up there and let's do if I can pick it up <coughs> uh oh I'm going to start coughing again I did a um, little live stream today for an event that honeybee is taking part of um, for scrapbook and cards today some of you may have seen it and my, I got that little tickle, you know, when you get the little tickle in your throat. And it's not necessarily because I have had a cold, but it's not necessarily that I feel sick. It's just that when I got to talking and visiting with all the attendees, I, the little tickle came. And I thought, oh, no. And thank goodness my daughter Emily was home and Lisa was able to call Emily 
on the phone and tell her to bring me cough drops. So then I was able to kind of suck on a little cough drop and soothe that little tickle in my throat. And then it was better. Okay, so these are the Happy Hearts um, pearls. And I think maybe I should do like bring pink to bring out the pink or should I just go ahead and do green like the centers of the little daisies on the background what do you guys think bring in pink or green let me see here I'm reading your comments pink green green love the pink Mm. I think gems, I think these might be like too sparkly. Like they don't go with the feel of the card. Like this feels a little vintagey kind of. Green, I forgot. And we switched it. Oh, thank you, Miss Gail. I'm so glad you're here. You're always so sweet. Oh, some Martha says, yes, the owls are going to be so cool. Let's see here. Okay, pink. What a beautiful card. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's put in a let's put in a pop of pink. I'm gonna try not to poke myself again. Okay, so these are our happy hearts pearls. And I'm gonna put a large one, and I love that these have three sizes. I'm gonna put a large one in the big daisy. And then I'm going to do um, the medium size in the two on the side. There we go. That added a cute little pop of pink. I think you guys were right with the pink. What do you think? There we go. Let's see. I, think I'm really going to like this company. I'm so glad that you're here, Martha. Thank you. The pink definitely brings out the pink, doesn't it? Martha, the only thing with you coming in to our little hive over here is I'm a little nutty. All of the all of my friends here in the hive can tell you that Kelly is a little I'm a little nutty. And you're liable to hear like my little puppy dog barking or something there's no telling what might happen i cut myself i got a boob a crafty boo-boo tonight on my card there's no telling what might happen me too perfect then you are welcome in the hive miss martha we're so glad that you guys are here aren't we all yes crafters are all a little bit nutty okay I don't want to keep you guys too late tonight, but I wanted to pull out these really cute daisy lattice stencils, the layering stencils. So fun on the yellow paper because I never think to ink blend on colored paper. I did it with our folk art one that we did. Let me put it aside uh, right here next to it. Did it with this one and our sneak peeks and I thought, I wonder what the daisies would look like on yellow because yellow and white daisies are just happy, I think. Okay, and then we have our little daisy embossing folder and a new little sentiment and everything else is kind of mixed with old dyes and old paper. Thank you, Earlene. So glad you were here. All right, you guys. All right, so let's do our giveaway for tonight. Lisa's going to help me out and choose a giveaway winner. The only thing that you have to do is to be a part or be in the running for the giveaways is just to comment. And a lot of you have been chatting away over there. And so Lisa's going to choose our giveaway winner. And congrats to Beth Holt. You are the winner. All right, Miss Beth, if you'll email me at Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y at honeybeestamps.com, I'm going to hook you up with your gift card. And then don't forget, I'm going to see you guys back here on Wednesday night. And I am going to be crafting with the new Lovely Layers bir Spring Birds. 
So I really got a, a, the lovely layer spring birds and then either the cherry blossom or the dogwood blossom. So I hope you guys will uh, join us uh, to see that. All right, you guys. See you Wednesday. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.